That's the adamant metalon her piece told me about. She said I should get the raw adamant without being seen. They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. Oh, Badless doesn't find out who's here. After mining it. You don't stand a chance. Stuff somehow. Almost like they were meant to be together.
Raw Altamant, as promised. Nice to see that you're as skilled as you look. I'm making the right choice to become more like you. You seem fine to me. I don't know why you're trying to change. Just as you were destined to be the Castiz, I am destined for this. I just know it. Atlas is hardly worth all this trouble. You shouldn't change yourself for him. This is bigger than Atlas. Wait and see what a human Archon could mean for Atlantis. Still, all you have is raw adamant. Until I take it to a skilled blacksmith so he can forge an Isu device from the adamant. Well, you know where to find the Castis when you need him. The foraging shouldn't take too long. I'll meet you near the Dome of Atlas when it's done. Then we can proceed to the next phase of my plan. Now that I have the Isu device forged, we need to move quickly. You distract Atlas while I sneak into his private chambers. More sneaking. After Poseidon outlawed human experiments, Atlas confiscated a device and kept it. That device theoretically could add a third helix to my DNA. I've seen what these Isu devices can do. It's not pretty. The science is sound. And I've even found evidence of tests being done on humans that looked promising. In previous cycles, of course, before Poseidon outlawed experimentation. Just tell Atlas the truth. You have good intentions. If he's afraid of his enemies hurting me now, what will he think of me undergoing this procedure? Besides, he can't break Poseidon's law. I'm not sure a good Dicastis goes behind the back of an Atlantean Archon. I've been preparing for this my entire life. Don't worry. Just keep Atlas talking while I'm in his chambers. <laughs> I don't think we have anything in common. What are we supposed to talk about? The weather? Atlas is a jealous lover, and he's already threatened by your role as the Castis. Why not play to that advantage? 
Whatever you do, don't mention my plans. Great. This will do wonders for our relationship. Everyone knows it's lonely at the top, Vikastis. Let's go. I've studied this science extensively. Once I impart Isu DNA into my body, I should be able to use the device without side effects. It's the should that worries me. Remember, whatever you do, don't reveal my political plans to Atlas. I could trick Atlas into thinking you and I are closer than we are. Are we not close? What's there to trick? You know what I mean. Yes. Making Atlas envious would certainly be a good distraction. Elpis? What are you doing here? With him, no less. The Vicastis and I were just taking a stroll, and I remembered I left a book on Atlantean cyclical history here. He'd like to borrow it. Do you mind if I fetch it? I... no. Do you need me to help you look for it? No, no. You two stay here. I'm sure you have much to discuss. Elpis wouldn't have anything to do with why you were sneaking around the adamant metalon, would she? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure by now Elpis has told you about the nature of our relationship. She's hardly as discreet as I'd like her to be. What business do you have with her? What? Is Elpis not allowed to have friends? Of course she can have friends. But I suspect there's more going on here. You have nothing to worry about, Atlas. I have no schemes against you. Maybe you don't play games. But Elpis lives for them. I can tell when she's up to something. Don't talk about Elpis that way. She's not manipulative. She's passionate. So you do care for her then? You don't talk about Elpis like you love her. And you're not speaking of her as if you're merely her casual acquaintance. The truth is, Elpis and I are in love. What? Ah! Ah! What? What have you done? I'm not weak anymore, Atlas. I can rule Atlantis at your side. This is your doing. You're trying to revolt against the issue with hybrids. No! <laughs> What did you do? I didn't mean to. He was going to kill you. Ah, it seems my brother finally got his due. Is this your judgment, Digastis? I killed Atlas. It wasn't my intention. I... You hoped to rule by his side to ease the conflict between humans and Isu. He wasn't as supportive of my dreams as I would have hoped. I support you. You can assume his role as you see fit. I will handle Poseidon and my brothers. Thank you, Azais. You can't be more corrupt than Atlas. And Atlantis can't fear progress if it hopes to pass this cycle. Atlantean politics are even more dramatic than in the Greek world. What will you do now? I'm not the first Atlantean ruler to take power by force. If the Isu can do it, why not me? Still, I didn't want to start my reign this way. You started your reign by saving my life. <laughs> Normally I do the saving. I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you, Vikastis.
make a better ruler than Atlas. She certainly can't do any worse. Same. Go do this. Bring me that. Go kill him. I don't know if I can do this anymore. If I were ruler, things would be much, much different. What's that, Icarus? A speech from your new ruler. <clears throat> Atlanteans! Tonight! We tear off these clothes, and make love until the sun comes up! I wonder what Alcibiades is doing these days. <laughs> or who? Who is Alcibiades? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the Dicastis' speech. <sighs> it was more of a fantasy, really. Call me Alexios. I thought it was wonderful, Dicastis Alexios. <laughs> Just Alexios is fine. And what's your name? Alcon. You're even more special than all the bedtime stories my... parents used to tell me. What's wrong? My parents are missing. They left for their assignments, but they never came home. The Isu won't help me. But then I remembered the story of you helping a lost girl in the underworld. ...who found her parents in Elysium. So I came to you. Her name was Phoebe. We were good friends. She's in a better place now than when I found her. She was lucky to have a friend like you. I could always make a new friend. Maybe you, Alcon. And I could help you. Would you like that? More than anything! You said your parents never came home. If you could tell me where they're assigned, and what their names are, it would be very helpful. Mata's name is Rene. She's assigned to the harbor. Pater is called Damadis, and he's assigned to the Adamant Quarry. You're very brave. Now go home where it's safe. I'll go talk to the harbor master and whoever is in charge of the quarry. I'll come find you once I have some answers. The Castis. 
Have you come to analyze the recently discovered coral permutations fastened to the hulls of our vessels? Ah, uh, no. I'm looking for a woman named Rini. Uh, yes, well, that is a subject I have absolutely zero authority in, I'm afraid. I cannot help you. Our son is very worried. Please, do not asphyxiate me! What are you doing? I like humans, and I liked Rini. Poor Alcon. But if they hear me talking to you, they'll kill me. Tell me where she is, or I'll cut you! Uh, I told you, I, I don't know anything! You'll find my contact not far from here, but be careful. A trap has been set for you. You have made the Dicastis very angry! Thank you. Please don't tell Poseidon! You have compassion, Dicastis. You may be the only one who can calm the brewing storm between humans and Isu. Master was right. They're waiting for me. Well, I hope you disappoint them. a lot of guards for a quarry. I wonder why. I shall stay hidden if I don't want to fight. This an honor. How'd you get past my guards? I'm looking for the Madis. And why would the great Vikastis be looking for missing humans? I never said he was missing. Very clever. Hybrid. 
When my humans transport adamant to the experimentation chamber, they don't always return. Occasionally they fall through the cracks, like rats. A little boy is worried about his father. Just tell me where this experimentation chamber is. Your compassion for humans is unproductive. Your hatred for humans is self-destructive. <sighs> Fine. It's in the garden of Kimopolia. But you're wasting your time. The doors are locked. Then I'll just have to find the key. You can try... hybrid. You know, treating humans like vermin will get you killed one day. That day is today. <laughs> <laughs> of this experimentation chamber. And what do the Isu need with all this adamant? Algon's probably wondering where I am. I'll go see him. This area will be well defended. Castis Alexios, did you find matter and battle? Not yet. But I know they were taken to some sort of experimentation chamber by an Isu named Zarios. Zarios? But he was always so kind to us. He gave us food and defended us when the others called us rats. Do you know where I can find him? The doors to the chamber are locked, and he's my last hope of getting in. He's usually at the fortified Doma of Miniseas, but he's always protected by guards. That never stops me. Oh. 
I need to stay hidden. Larios, you've abducted your last human. <clears throat> the one Atlas gave me. Maybe it can help me get into the experimentation chamber. This looks like the perfect place to hide missing humans. Locked. But I think I know what opens this. Some 
Someone really doesn't want any visitors. said that? Show yourself! My name is Aita. I am a scientist, and in many ways, these are my children. You created the Minotaur? The Cyclops? The Writhing Dread? They're monsters! Are we not all monsters? Imperfect beings striving towards our ultimate potential? Is that not why you are here? I'm here because a little boy's parents are missing, and all signs point to you. How very human of you. Oh.
Please, Rainy, are you here? Over here! We're here! Please, help us! Don't worry, I'm getting everyone out of here. Didn't anyone teach you it's cruel to lie? What? What's cruel is abducting and experimenting on these people! Without sacrifice, there can be no progress. Without experimentation, there can be no perfection. You're breaking Poseidon's law. I am advancing knowledge for the betterment of Atlantis. Poseidon's lack of vision keeps us in darkness. But we are close. So very close. Atlantis is on the brink of war because of Isu who think like you. Which is why we are properly arming ourselves. Let these people go. It's too late for them. Project Olympos has already begun. One human escaped before the transformation was complete, and lives were lost. This won't happen again. Surely you understand. Lyra... She took her own life after what you did to her. So, you've seen the beast she becomes. I'm getting these people out of here. But... Don't you want to know what's behind this door? All right, I'll play. Tell me. Why tell you, when I can show you? Just know, to enter the chamber is to forfeit their lives. You cannot have both. What if I just killed you, set these people free, and broke through your stupid door? <laughs> you can't kill me, Alexios. I can see you're struggling. What if I told you the greatest achievement in Atlantis is behind that door? And that we owe that achievement to you? What are you talking about? Through there is a path to immortality. For you. For us. Embrace your legacy. Forget these miserable humans. Abandon morality and the answers to all your questions are just beyond that door. Please! Save us or we'll die! You will be reborn! Don't you want to know why you're really here? Free the people and this door will remain closed to you forever. Pass through, however, and it will lock behind you. These rats will be mine. What will it be, the Gustis? Their lives? Or your destiny? Fuck your door. I promised a little boy I'd bring his parents home. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ah, <sighs> very disappointing. No matter. If there are two things Atlantis has in ample supply, it is adamant and humans. Come on, let's get out of here. Thank you, the Castis. I'll get to see Alcon again. Hurry! How can we ever repay you? Tell your son if Inisu ever calls him a rat again, Vicastis Alexios will deal with them personally. Poseidon lied to me. They've been experimenting on humans this whole time. <laughs> 